And that was supposed to be closure for the victims' families. A Chardon High School shooter, TJ Lane, made it far less than that by wearing a shirt scrawled with the word killer. Then, when asked to give a statement, Lane threw up his middle finger and cursed the families. Lane was given three life sentences with no parole. News Channel 5's Paul Kiska was at the courthouse and joins us now live. Paul, a very emotional day, not only for the victims' families, but also for Lane's family. His sister apologized for her brother's actions. Annalee and TJ Lane's sister said the actions of TJ Lane, what he did on the day of the shooting spree and what he did in the courtroom today is not the person she grew up with. TJ Lane made a vulgar gesture and comment to the victim's families in court, all while wearing a t-shirt with the word killer on it. Lane smiled, smirked, and squirmed in his seat as Judge David Fury gave him three life sentences without parole. Lane smirked again when Judge Fury said Lane was not provoked. First, the defendant's conduct was without any provocation. After court, prosecutors finally hinted at a potential motive. We have a theory on the motive. Um, there is no hard facts on that, but we're going to discuss that with the victim's families before we release that information to the media. I'm Sadie Lane, TJ's sister. The brother in the courtroom and that did this was not the brother I knew. I was not only a victim that day, but I also lost my brother. But I want to offer my deepest sympathy to all the victim's families and anyone involved. TJ Lane's sister was in the cafeteria during the shooting spree. She read a statement after court. I heard the gunshots and screams, ran for my life, ducked under tables, hid in the teacher's lounge, not knowing who the shooter was. Sitting in that room in shock as we all comforted one another, I heard a police officer outside of the window say, that they suspected TJ Lane. When those words hit me, I shook and cried and denied that all this could be true. It may be hard for some to understand, but I love my brother and hope that wherever the sentencing in life takes him in the future, that he can touch others' lives in a positive way from a point of view that only he can give. But he will never get out of prison. TJ Lane plans to appeal and ask for a court appointed attorney for that process. Live in Chardon tonight, Paul Kiska, News Channel 5.